Today we are finding people who actually used that guidebook when they traveled through the South to stay safe. CBS 46's Ayanna Crystal with more on that. Last night, the Green Book took home three major Academy Awards, including Best Picture. I was very pleased that it won. Uh, it brings attention to the, to the movement that we had back in the uh, back in the day. Wellington Howard's family would travel from Chicago to Mississippi every year in the 50s. Traveling in the South and being black was, was definitely a challenge. His family would use the Negro Motorist Green Book, which was a travel guide for black people in need of safe places to eat, sleep, and visit while traveling in the United States. It was very much utilized. Uh, a lot of people were, were apprehensive and did not travel south. You know, it was too, it was dangerous. His grandmother in Mississippi would advertise in the Green Book, giving black people a place to stop. Had two golf service stations in uh, Mississippi Delta, and uh, these two service stations were in the uh, Green Book, and she also made our home available to travelers coming back and forth from the Green Book. We went searching and it's very rare. We found an original copy of the Green Book from 1949 here at the Atlanta University Center. The Green Book was used to navigate the South pre-interstate. It really truly was a guidebook um, and it names famous restaurants and all of these kinds of things so um, people could safely navigate sort of Jim Crow era South. And that's a lot of the historical aspe aspects of it, published starting in 1940 up and through around 1950. Most of the safe havens in Atlanta are now closed down. Auburn Avenue was a place for black people to go during that time. This YMCA on Butler Street has since closed down, and so was this popular nightclub, the Royal Peacock. Howard is just glad this movie is bringing attention to the struggles black people faced. They say that, you know, I never thought about being black and traveling in the South in the 50s and the 60s. And they said, come to think about it, it could, could have been a dangerous thing, kind of hazardous thing. And it, it was a bit of inconvenience. You know, it's not, nowhere like it is now. 